In this video, we will demonstrate cuff inflation as well as how to ensure adequate cuff pressure for air-filled tracheostomy cuffs. This video should be used in conjunction with the OPIC tracheostomy cuff management clinical procedure. This video demonstrates how to ensure adequate cuff pressure using the cuff manometer and cuff manager devices. Technique 1 for air-filled cuffs using a cuff manometer. Explain the procedure to the patient. Ensure that the patient is in a comfortable position. Prepare all necessary equipment. This should include tracheostomy PPE as per hospital policy, a 10 mil syringe and a cuff manometer. Perform hand hygiene and put on PPE. If the patient is using a Passimur valve, this must be removed prior to inflating the cuff. The cuff on most tracheostomy tubes is inflated by injecting air into the pilot cuff line. To reinflate the cuff, use a 10 mil syringe to introduce air slowly to avoid discomfort. Check that the cuff pressure is at the correct level using a cuff pressure manometer. Measurement of cuff pressure should occur at least once a shift, after cuff inflation, or if there is a suspected air leak. Connect the manometer firmly to the pilot balloon port and ensure that the pressure is between 20 to 30 centimetres of water pressure. Do not leave the manometer connected to the pilot line for a prolonged period as air will leak out of the cuff. If the pressure is not at the desired range, use a 10 mil syringe to inflate or deflate the cuff by 0.5 to 1 mil of air at a time before checking the pressure again with the manometer. Technique 2 for air-filled cuffs using a cuff manager device. Cuff manager devices can be used with patients who have a suspected cuff leak. This device allows airflow between the tracheostomy cuff and balloon chamber, which continually maintains the internal cuff pressure. There is no need to use a manometer to check cuff pressure when this device is in place. If the patient is using a Passimur valve, this must be removed prior to connecting the cuff manager device and inflating the cuff. Attach the device to the tracheostomy pilot line. Using a 10 mil syringe, inflate the blue balloon in the chamber until it is two thirds to three quarters full. This is an example of an underinflated chamber balloon. This is an example of an overinflated chamber balloon. If the device is detached, the chamber balloon will deflate. The tracheostomy cuff will, however, remain inflated. To deflate the tracheostomy cuff, you must use a 10 mil syringe. This is especially important prior to placing a Passimur valve. 